this patient came to see me 10 years ago regarding tooth number 14. Patient said that she received a deep filling and for the past few weeks, patient said tooth was very sensitive to heat and to biting and pointed, of course, to tooth number 14. I examined tooth number 14 and diagnosed it as a partially necrotic tooth with acute apical periodontitis and recommended a root canal. And here's the date, as you can see, it was 10 years ago when I saw this patient. Well, patient agreed and we scheduled her an appointment uh, for a few days later and left. Patient came back to our appointment a few days later and uh, sat in the chair and of course the girls got her ready and everything. I walk in and patient says, listen, uh, I don't think I need a root canal anymore. I said, why? She said, well, my tooth feels great now, feels much better. And uh, I just don't want to get a root canal. I told her, I said, listen, you know, your tooth feels better. We diagnosed it as a partially necrotic tooth. So your tooth feels better because very likely now the nerves are completely dead. That's why the tooth feels better, but it's, 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 it's a false, it's a false better or false. My tooth feels, feels good. It's false now because uh, you definitely still need a root canal. But again, you guys know me. I said, if you don't want to get a root canal, that's fine. I'm not going to force you, but my, my recommendation is a root canal, but yes, if you, you want to get a root canal, that's fine. And she said, no, I don't, I don't, I just don't want to get a root canal. And my tooth, my tooth feels fine now. And she got up and left. I said, okay, that's fine. She got up and left. Again, that was, as you can see, 10 years ago. Well, she came back today. And look what's going on now. She's in a lot of pain. Patient said she got the root canal done somewhere else. She went somewhere else. Um, she didn't know exactly when. I saw her 10 years ago. She was saying she got the root canal done six, seven years ago, maybe. Somewhere else. And... Tooth number 13 is gone now. But tooth number 13 was fine when I first saw her 10 years ago. Look. Look at tooth number 13. Tooth number 13 was just fine. Well, patient says she got a root canal on that tooth. And then she still had pain. And then she had the root canal redone. And she was still in pain. And then finally they pulled the tooth. I think they misdiagnosed. I think tooth number 13 never needed a root canal. They misdiagnosed it was tooth number 14 all along. They went ahead and pulled tooth number 13 and now she has she, she has an implant there. And look what they've done to tooth number 13, okay? So again, don't rely on just one angulation PA. Take a look at uh, what the, this dentist has done to this, to this poor tooth, all right? Again, it's important as a general dentist, it's important for you to know your limitations and to also be able to read x-rays. This dentist couldn't read x-rays very likely. The dentist who did the root canal couldn't read x-rays very likely and also didn't, didn't respect his own limitations, didn't appreciate his own limitations. All right, so look what happened. He broke a file in the apical area of the MB1 canal because he didn't see, he didn't appreciate the curvature and broke a file right there as you can see. Then he broke another file in the MB2 canal right there. And as though that these two broken files weren't enough, he broke one in the distal buccal again because he didn't appreciate the apical anatomy of the distal buccal canal. That sharp S-shaped curvature of the distal buccal canal didn't appreciate it and broke a file right there. So that's one, two, three files that he broke in one tooth. Now this patient is in a lot of pain. So moral of the story, know your limitations. 
respect your limitations. Okay? And again, you also need to be able to read x-rays. But the most important thing is respect your limitations. What do I do in this case? I'm not going to touch this tooth. So I discuss all my findings with the patient. And, uh, and t t told her, you need to go back to the dentist who did the root canal. I'm going to write a detailed report and go back to, to that dentist. And the patient says the dentist never even told her that, uh, sh that he had broken three files in the tooth. Because I told the patient, I said, you know, breaking files, sometimes that happens. Uh, but the most important thing is for him to have, to have told you and then immediately referred you to an endodontist, someone like me. And the patient said he, she was never told. She was never told that there were three broken files, the dentist broke three, bro broke three files, and she was never referred to, to an endodontist. Instead, the dentist just went ahead and put a crown, permanent crown on the tooth. So...